What is going on guys? Today we're gonna cover the five, five exercises. It's only five, it's only five. Exercises that work the upper back complex. This is gonna be our upper back and lats and the first exercise and my favorite exercise still to this day is the freaking seated row, guys. I love this exercise. This exercise, when you have your knees bent and you're really focusing on driving, hold on, let me, let me, let me back up just so you guys can see. When you're really focused on driving the elbows back, I'm really feeling that squeeze in your back. Oh my God, it feels so good. It feels like you're doing the cable row in the weight room. It feels so freaking good. I love this exercise. I personally prefer to use the overhand conventional grip. Now you can do supinated as well, but I really prefer the overhand. I really feel like I'm getting into it and I'm also getting a small grip strength forearm workout to go along with the back and biceps benefit. If this exercise isn't in your program and you're doing a total body of, some, of any type, I highly recommend doing this exercise. Sometimes we forget this device is omnidirectional. So you literally just set it up on the floor, set that row up, set the strap up. When I do row, it's usually around strap seven or strap eight, depending on where I want to be in the row and what I'm trying to work to help out in, in the weight room. You go to town. Exercise number two, and it is the deadlift. Now the deadlift is more of a total body exercise, but there is some upper back and lat action going on as it's part of the muscular of the total musculature that's being worked in a deadlift. The deadlift, if anyone is going for total body strength, you need to be doing the deadlift. Period. You need to be doing the deadlift. In your upper body and back day, if you wanted to get an extra exercise and you didn't want to do the next exercise, which I'm about to mention. Go ahead and throw the deadlift in there. You're just gonna get more gains. You're gonna get total body strength gains. And part of the total body is the back and biceps, which gets hit with the deadlift movement. And now I've just alluded to it. Exercise number three is the bent over row. The bent over row is an exercise I'm like, eh, sometimes I'm feeling it in the weight room and sometimes I'm not really feeling it. I'll cycle it in, I don't know, maybe like once or twice throughout the year just to, um, give my back a different stimuli, but um, I'm not truly a fan of it, but it does work. And that's just how I feel about the exercise. It definitely does work. Um, so if you don't know how to perform this exercise, again, here's a link to our how-to series on how to perform these exercises. Um, it's literally laid out. Go ahead and find it. Watch it. Great exercise to work the lats and the biceps. I really do feel this in the biceps a little bit more than the seated row. That just happens to be my experience. Comment down below what your experience is with this exercise. I'm gonna go to exercise number four. And you didn't think you could do a clean pull on here, did you? But you can. So the clean pull is an interesting exercise. So essentially it's <laughs> almost mimicking an upright row but we're on our tiptoes. And so this is gonna be another total body, but it's going to have the back and biceps be one of the areas that gets hit with this exercise. If you're looking for another exercise and you're tired of the same exercise and you want another one that works the upper back and lats, throw in the clean pull. You actually be surprised with how much power you can generate off this exercise, but it's a total body, so it kind of makes sense. And the last exercise, we were talking about upper back complex, so we can't have that without the shrug. The shrug, I feel, is one of the simplest exercises on the isomax, and yet is so important to work the trapeziest muscle. So what I really like about the shrug is that we can utilize the mixed grip positions. On some of our No Limit Squad shorts, you'll see that myself or maybe a client of mine or, or someone that we invited over to the, the house is using a mixed grip. That's because I told them to do that. And they can still get a great trap workout. And that's for if your grip is having trouble with the forces generated off the shrug. Because the shrug tends to be a high force generator, no matter who you are. So we're only as strong as our weakest link. So if we 
are generating great forces with the conventional grip and our grip starts to loosen as as the six seconds or however long you're holding it for um as long as, as if the grip unravels then we're not really getting as much out of it so and that's why i tell um some practitioners to incorporate a mixed grip now eventually we want to work on the grip and so there are actually forearm exercises on the iso chain and iso max that you can perform here's a link right here go ahead and check that out at your leisure but those are the exercises what did you think go ahead and comment down below if you like the video be sure to drop a like thanks for watching no limit squad patrons i appreciate you and if you're not yet part of the squad hit that subscribe button come join the squad and we'll see you next video peace